Haikyuu episode 13, Rival. Sorry, it's his first, first try, sort of, with his eyes open. Daichi, the man himself. I'm waiting for the, the day, I know it's coming, when Daichi's inner dragon is unleashed. Wait, wait for it, there it is. Both these teams are gritty. That's what I'm saying. This is destiny, right? This is destiny. They're going to meet again in a big way, for sure. This is all set up. No, don't be so hard on yourself. That's got to be such a great feeling, man. Just spiking it in the face of three defenders. Yeah, there it is. Coach sees it. Both coaches see it. It's going to happen. They're all going to be demons or whatever by the end of the show. But I feel like they're going to lose this match. Oh no, no. Face. <laughs> Quota reached for the episode. Face blocks. Damn, this is intense. They keep having these epic stare downs. You know, it's there. Nice. Yeah, they're so nicely paralleled. <laughs> Every serve. Every point. Death stare. They even look alike. I don't know, is that a step backwards? He's got to figure it out. It seems essential for their progress. They got that one in the bag. There's a fake out. Again! We're just going through the whole roster on, on the opposing team. Delay. There's so many layers to this game. Right, it does feel like they have more experience. That just means they'll grow faster. There's something about being in the lower position and looking up that creates... What do you call that in racing with cars? Slipstream? Where you can just grow so much faster. I think it's a combination of just having farther to go, more low-hanging fruit, but also the perspective, like what you're aiming for, makes such a big difference in how fast you move. Right, that's the key thing, for now. <laughs> you know, I thought that. It's sort of an interesting symbol for the team. This guy also has experience over our coach. The team is young all around. Oh no, he got him again with the same thing. He's been so confident, so confident, even from the beginning. Oh right, so it's win by two. Oh, believe in him, believe in him! Oh, I was really hoping he would make that for his, his self-esteem. Give it to him, give it to him. Dude is focused. Hey, listen. Yeah, crazy chemistry. Wait, no, 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 it's not not over. Yeah, not over until it's the ground. Looking to collide? Oh. They won. I mean, everyone won. Everyone won that day. I mean, it sucks because they fought super hard, but the way I'm taking this first part of season one, this is the raw potential and getting their bearings phase. It's pretty clear to see that their value lies not in what they are now, but in their potential as players and the, the skills that they're currently developing, and also who they are as people and the combination of them together. It's sort of a dream team in waiting, which is kind of a genius choice and is really thrilling because give me potential any day, you know? I mean, I think in general, that's true of how we evaluate people. It's not only about where people are, it's about what we see them doing in the future. The likelihood of motion and 
growth is a high value thing in itself, regardless of where people are at, at a current moment. I also, I really like the way a lot of the, the characters are, are oriented, especially the coach and people like Daichi, the people who have sort of been around. It can be tempting to grab at the things that are in front of you that you're capable of and get your sustenance only from your current level, but it takes a little more abstract thinking and faith in the future and grit and courage, I would say, to sacrifice some of that, to sacrifice some of the rewards that are kind of just waiting to be picked up easily for long-term growth and greater rewards later. There's a wisdom in some of these characters recognizing that this game is not it. Right? Any any game they've had so far is not it. It's the championship. To that effect, in a weird way, success can be a negative. It can keep you stuck on a certain plateau because the, the hit you get from that success is sweet enough that it sustains you even if you want a lot more. Conversely, pain can be great in that way as it creates kinetic energy. Sometimes I think of it like a meter. You know, if you haven't <laughs> been motivated to do something yet or you haven't been pushed to grow yet. Maybe your pain meter just hasn't been built enough. When your pain meter gets to a certain point, it informs action. <sighs> and it's not like the win was undeserved. I mean, they fought hard. Yet, let that sink in. <laughs> you know what I Everyone became friends that day. Two out of three. How many losses did they want to rack up? Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. They lost every time but got closer. When he said he wanted to be the last one on the court, does that mean camp is over? That's sad. We were having so much fun. This is cool. The coaches sort of swap and give a talk. Why did that feel so heartbreaking? This is a real thing? Do coaches actually do this other team pep talk? Because I love it. It's a true veteran perspective right there. That could happen, right? We'll see how it goes. Seems like a very real possibility given all this setup. Clean up. <laughs> we just played six games of volleyball. I want to give you a hug. You're just so cool. You remind me of myself. Oh, it's about the, the, the girl. Ask her yourself. <laughs> oh. Neither do I. <laughs> no one does on this team, apparently. Oh, this is a moment of... Wow, what an honor. He made himself very vulnerable. Do we just become best friends? And rivals? <laughs> I don't know, after a volleyball game like that, I would be all jazzed up, ready to go. I am not going to remember that. We did warn you. And he flees. This is Death Stare guy? He's such a sweetheart. They're all like such direct matches. I guess Hinata can get pretty intense in a match himself. Yeah, it means so much to him. He's really been putting his whole life into this. <laughs> this guy just lives to trash talk. Nah, he's saying. He's having too much fun. This is the most wholesome competition and post competition. Yeah, that hidden power. Very odd relationship they have, the two of them. And then I'm just pestering him, constantly. 
Oh, cool. It's a special credits. I wonder if anyone else will join. The crew seems so solid as it is right now. I don't know anything about the like timing or duration of the show and what happens in it. I know there's multiple seasons. Three seasons, I think. I wonder if season one will be one year. If so, we could get new characters with new seasons as the freshmen join. But that would also mean people graduate, right? That would be heartbreaking. I know nothing about it. It'll be interesting to see how that goes. And end credits. One shot. Oh, does this mean practice is over? Or at least exhibition matches are over, maybe. It's gonna be so crazy. It's like another level of stakes when the actual season begins. <laughs> I'm already curious to track their stats and their their win loss record going back to what i was just saying about the duration one thing that makes it interesting is because i don't know that it's sort of anything can happen like if it was one season and i knew the, the season was going to go through the finals i feel like it would be a pretty good chance they they won but i have no idea i mean i honestly i don't wouldn't expect them to win their first attempts at the championship though that would be very sad in some ways just because of seniors graduating i really i don't know why i'm so oddly attached to daichi he hasn't had a big role he's had one of the the least prominent roles out of the cast so far but something about just his early introduction and episodes since then just made me love him it would be great to see him get a championship but who knows hinata's got one in the bag for sure hinata and kageyama so that's the end of the wholesome rivalry arc lots of things happening at once it's hinata coming into himself a little bit more trying to be more awake or aware on the court in terms of what he's able to do also the rivalry that is Definitely not ending here. This is going to be a long thing with them, or a big thing with them at least. And also significant, I guess, because it's the first big game, I think, with the entire crew. It's pretty incredible, and I give a lot of props to the show in only, what is this, episode 13? 13 episodes, how much they've already grown and how cohesive they feel as a unit. But at the same time, you get the sense that this is only the beginning. It's really cool.